Keto. 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 Fat. Carbs. Fat. Carbs. Glucose. I don't understand. Is keto biohacking? Should everyone do it? It's keto time. <laughs> our friends but if you're new to our channel consider subscribing because we do health tips tricks and hacks on Sundays and Midbuster just like this one on Thursdays these videos as always have three sections we break down the subject which today is ketogenic diet the facts opinions and the research and lastly the long-awaited verdict whether this is a myth or a fact People follow keto diet when they want to transform their body, lose weight, or as they claim, they use it as a biohacking method. And it makes sense when you want to get rid of the body fat. But to be honest with you, what you do in order to transform your body doesn't necessarily translate to your health. So should we question this diet? Without further ado, let's dive in into the keto world. On the keto diet, I eat whatever I eat. Keto. What is ketogenic diet? Keto diet is very low carb, low to moderate protein and very high amount of fat diet. We are simply drastically reducing an intake of carbohydrates and replacing them with fat. This reduction puts your body into a metabolic state called ketosis. 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 When this happens, your body becoming incredibly efficient at burning fat as a main fuel source. In order to do that, you cannot eat more than 20 to 30 grams carbohydrate per day. So in quick summary, your daily diet typically contains 75% of fat, 20% of protein, and only 5% of carbohydrates. So let's talk about fact and the research. Number one. Keto and weight loss. Ketogenic diet is a very effective way to lose weight. First three weeks of such diet are critical because it helps to fix the underlying cellular issues. So you will be able to upregulate glucose metabolism to burn fat and utilize glucose. If you wake up in the morning and your sugar level is more than 95 milligrams per deciliter, you won't be able to oxidize fat. High sugar level in your body is detrimental for absolutely everything in your body. Your heart, eyes, brain, arteries, everything slowly starts to break down because of the free radical damages. When you have problem with diabetes type 2, insulin cannot simply unlock the cell's receptors to put the sugar in them. What keto diet does is simply turning over the cells so you're becoming both fat and sugar adapted. Fact number two, keto and health benefits. Many studies have proven that ketogenic diet provides a lot of benefits for those who have problem with metabolic, neurological or insulin-based diseases. Ketogenic diet may improve insulin sensitivity, reduce symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, cause massive reduction in seizures in epileptic children, and also it is used to treat certain types of cancer. All links to the relevant and worth reading researches are linked in the description below. Number three, keto and nervous system. When you completely remove carbohydrate from your diet for a long period of time, body's peripheral nervous system begin to be in very heightened state, your neurotransmitters do not respond the same way and cortisol level may be elevated. You simply put your body in sympathetic nervous system dominant state. Of course, you may feel fantastic, you have no brain fog, you are uplifted, but it's only because of the high amount of cortisol and adrenaline your body produces. But to surprise you, your body actually thinks that you're in survival-based situation. Number four, keto and bioindividuality. To be honest with you, keto works wonders predominantly for men, especially if they are kapha endomorph body type. Why not so great for females? I will explain in the point below. Definitely, endomorph body type will work better on low starch, low carbohydrate diet as they are naturally an oxidizer of fat. On the other hand, vata, which is ectomorph, naturally is more prone to be in a fight or fight state and uses glucose predominantly as a fuel source. So absolutely it makes more sense for them to eat more carbohydrates as their bodies get quickly depleted. So keto will be extremely disruptive for their nervous system, they will easily get burnt out and end up fatigued. So if you are ectomorph and you're thinking about trying keto, please don't do that. Number five, 
keto and fertility. For women, keto make only sense for first 21 days and you can really achieve great results in very short period of time. Why not longer? Females' bodies are more sensitive because of the reproduction-based issues. If you are in ketosis, your body thinks that you are in starvation-based situation. Your body starts to produce more cortisol, norepinephrine, and slowing progesterone and thyroid in your body. If you are in a highly stressed, no food, environment, naturally your body will not bring a child to such a stressful situation. Number six, keto and gut health. High fat diet for long term may negatively affect your gut flora. Saturated fat creates inflammation in your intestine and because of you removed a lot of good probiotics from your diet, you simply you have nothing to feed the good gut bacteria. On the other hand, eliminating sugar from your diet for a very short period of time may be very beneficial to reduce and remove the bad gut bacteria and bring back the balance to your body. Okay, number seven, keto and weight gain. And further consequences. When you are on keto for a long time, you becoming fat adapted. And as mentioned before, a lot of women downregulate thyroid, which means that you have to keep reducing the daily calorie intake to stay on this diet because it's already started to hurt your metabolism so any calorie surplus will make you gain weight so in consequence of being on keto for a long period of time you becoming glucose desensitized and if you break this diet even for one day your fat storage capacity goes up you're no longer sensitive to glucose and if you start eating sugar again, your sugar level will skyrocket and you become insulin resistant because your cells are not used to seeing glucose anymore. So, given all the information I shared with you, are you ready to bust this myth? Is keto biohacking? Hmm, it depends. Should everyone do it? Definitely no. Being on keto for a very long period of time may simply burn you out. The sweet point is to be on keto for one month to bring balance to your body and then very wisely ease out of the low carb diet and become both fat and glucose adapted. As we always mention, not single diet is suitable for everyone. Bio-individuality matters the most, especially since our body type, lifestyles, genes, metabolism differ. However, the ketogenic diet can absolutely work wonders for people who are overweight or have problem with metabolic syndrome. And also in terms of the biohacking thing, can keto be a golden mean for longevity and utilizing the uncovered potential of our body and brain? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up because it really supports our channel. And of course, don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. See you next Sunday. Bye.